Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. Today's video is about the Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 beta updates. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Today, Apple seeded the second beta of an upcoming Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 update for developers for testing purposes, with the software coming two weeks after Apple released the first Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 beta. This update appears to be a minor one, focusing on under-the-hood improvements rather than major user-facing changes. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.5 Beta 2, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, then check for Updates. Here you can see the update is available for this device. This macOS Sequoia 15.5 Beta update size is around 2.87 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And here you can see the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.5 Beta 2, and the build number is 24F5053F. Unlike macOS 15.4, which introduced mail categorization and new Apple intelligence languages, Beta 2 of 15.5 doesn't seem to include high-profile additions like priority notifications or the Apple News Food section, which were speculated for this release but haven't appeared yet. This beta, released on April 14, 2025, follows Beta 1 by two weeks and is part of a cycle winding down as Apple prepares for Mac OS 16, expected to be unveiled at WWDC in June. The focus may be on stability and bug fixes rather than introducing big features this late in the Sequoia cycle. Since the update is still in early beta, more features could emerge in later builds, but nothing groundbreaking has been confirmed yet. Moving forward and talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.5 Beta 2 release notes. The macOS 15.5 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.5 Beta 2. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.4, available from the Mac App Store, talking about the resolved issues. For Finder, fixed an incorrect enumeration bug for network shares with large amounts of data, which should improve performance when accessing network storage. For Pro Display Calibrator, addressed a reboot bug that occurred when customizing settings, ensuring a smoother experience for users calibrating displays. And for HVF, fixed, availability checking is disabled for CAPIs in HVF. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for macOS Sequoia 15.4 Beta 3. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.